Mikel Arteta's team have already secured their place in the Champions League this season and they will need to upgrade for their first season in Europe's elite since 2017. As they look to keep pace with City and ensure they are equipped for their long-awaited return to Europe's top-tier club competition, Mikel Arteta is set to strengthen his squad. It is understood Arteta wants a new centre-back, possibly two central midfielders and a versatile attacker. Here, Mail Sport takes a look at how the Arsenal team could shape up after what is expected to be an unprecedented summer of transfer business at the Emirates Stadium. It is understood Arteta wants a new centre-back, two central midfielders and an attacker. Aaron Ramsdale. There is no real contest here, Aaron Ramsdale has firmly established himself as Arteta's number one. Ramsdale joined Arsenal in the summer of 2021 following three relegations with Bournemouth, Sheffield United and Chesterfield. The 24-year-old has kept 12 clean sheets this season, a record bettered only by Newcastle's Nick Pope and Manchester United's David De Gea. Defenders. Ben White. Ben White has established himself as one of the country's best defenders in recent years. White has been a key member of Arsenal's backline this season, but was a notable absentee from Gareth Southgate's England squad. Mark Gahey. At centre-back, Crystal Palace's Mark Gahey has impressed Arsenal's recruitment specialists this season. But the Gunners are one of many Premier League teams, including Tottenham, keen on the England international this summer. The Gunners want a centre-back amid concerns over William Saliba's long-term fitness while Rob Holding's contract is up next year. Saliba's absence has been a cause for concern for Arsenal in the run-in of the Premier League season, with Holding struggling to deputise for the Frenchman. Arsenal fans have bemoaned their lack of squad depth as a reason for their title charge falling off. Gahey has been a regular for Palace this season, often captaining the side as they head for another mid-table finish in the Premier League. His performances at Selhurst Park propelled him into Gareth Southgate's plans with the 22-year-old making his international debut in 2022. He's made 78 appearances for the South London club since joining on a five-year deal for £18 million from Chelsea in 2021. William Saliba William Saliba started every one of Arsenal's Premier League games this season before hurting his back in last month's Europa League defeat by Sporting. In his absence, Arsenal dropped points against Liverpool, West Ham, Southampton and Man City. Alexander Zinchenko Alexander Zinchenko can play in midfield but has generally been used at left back this season by the North London side. The versatile Ukrainian reunited with Arteta at Arsenal last summer after completing a £32 million move from Pep Guardiola's side. Zinchenko had worked under Arteta previously at City, where the now Gunners boss had spent three years as an assistant to Guardiola. Midfield. Thomas Partey. Since his arrival from Atletico Madrid in 2020, Thomas Partey has become one of the most important players at the Emirates Stadium, and has formed a vital partnership in midfield with Granit Xhaka. Though a holding midfielder by trade, Partey has contributed important goals to his side in games against Tottenham and Leicester, as well as in the Gunners' dramatic comeback win over Bournemouth. Declan Rice. West Ham captain Declan Rice is the Gunners' priority target in central midfield. Rice has been strongly linked with Arsenal now they have qualified for next season's Champions League, but the Hammers' £100 million valuation of the England international could yet prove a stumbling block. Despite Raya's deal at the London Stadium expiring in June of 2024, Hammers boss David Moyes is resolute that his captain will not be leaving the club in for a cut price fee in the summer. Moyes has previously stated that Rice will only depart the club if one of his suitors is willing to break the British record. However, Arsenal's quest to land Rice could be hampered by Newcastle's interest in the defensive-minded midfielder. Eddie Howe's side have the funds available to outbid Arsenal in any transfer battle for Rice and the Newcastle manager refused to rule out pursuing a deal for the West Ham star. While their current first-choice midfield pairing of Partey and Shaka have been excellent this season, they are 29 and 30 respectively, while Jorginho is 31. The 24-year-old could be a long-term solution at the Emirates, as Arteta looks to add to a young side. Martin Odegaard. Odegaard has been one of the club's most important players and a massive influence on the Arsenal team. He is someone Real Madrid gift-wrapped for the Gunners in 2021, having reluctantly given up on the player they signed as a 16-year-old from Strom's Godset in 2015. Attack. Bukayo Saka. Saka has been an ever-present for Arsenal in the Premier League this season. The England winger has played a vital role in their surprise push for the title. 
Saka had started four of England's five matches at the World Cup in Qatar, contributing three goals and one assist. His displays across the season led to Saka being named Young Player of the Year at the London Football Awards. Gabriel Jesus. Jesus has been pivotal to Arsenal's good form this season and has been praised massively by manager Arteta on several occasions. The Brazilian star joined the Gunners from Manchester City for £45 million last summer. Though he has missed several parts of the season with niggling injuries, he is back fit now. His link-up play has gained plaudits as he has helped transform his side from missing out on the Champions League to genuine title contenders in a matter of months. Musa Diaby. Bear Leverkusen forward Diaby is believed to be of serious interest to Arsenal. The 23-year-old has had an excellent season, scoring 14 goals so far, adding to his tally of 17 last term. Arteta wants to add further depth to his attacking options with Bukayo Saka, Gabriel Martinelli, Leandro Trossard and Reese Nelson his main options in attacking midfield. Diaby is likely to cost in excess of £50 million, but the Gunners will face competition for the former PSG star's signature with Manchester United, Newcastle and Real Madrid all linked with the exciting attacker. Wilfred Zaha is out of contract at the end of the season and is also a consideration for Arsenal, but they want to pursue a move for Diaby before exploring a potential free transfer for the Crystal Palace star. Their expected move to sign a new forward is set to be fueled by the expected departure of Nelson, who Mail Sport can reveal has rejected the offer of a new contract amid a growing belief the forward will leave at the end of the season when his contract expires.